always a big day whenever the Big Ten is in Indianapolis. Now, with the exception of 2020, Ohio State and Michigan have played in the final week of the Big Ten regular season every year since 1935. But with the Big Ten eliminating divisions after this year and the expansion of the playoffs, the possibility of those two teams meeting again has increased. So should the game be moved from its normal late November time slot? As Mark Coons explains, that is just one of the topics of debate from day one of Big Ten Media Days. When Ryan Day was hired as Ohio State's head coach, he knew what the expectations were for this program. Win every game, beat Michigan, contend for national titles. Well, the last two seasons, they've not been able to beat Michigan, although they did contend for the national title last season, losing on a last-second field goal to Georgia despite outplaying the national champs for most of that game. With that loss and the loss of the Wolverines in the rear view mirror, Buckeyes actually feel some momentum heading into this season. This off season, they've, they've, they've driven it, our leaders. That's just a few of the guys. I mean, there's a lot of other guys that have done a great job leadership wise. They've, they've driven the off season. And so I think you can just feel that coming from our players. I think you can just feel a confidence. Um, and, you know, I think our guys are anxious to get back on the field and play. As expected, day not shining any light on the quarterback competition between Kyle McCord and Devin Brown. The other major question on offense, replacing three starters on the line. Day singling out Finley freshman Luke Montgomery for praise. He's in the competition, right? And I told him the other day, I said, I know you're a true freshman, but you came here to play. So, uh, you know, that should be your mentality. Now, whether you play in the first game or not, you know, I don't know. Maybe you don't play this year. But I just, you know, I see things in him. We see things in him that are very encouraging. And I think everything you invest in, Luke, you're going to get back. He has all the traits that you look for in a really good offensive lineman. Um, but, you know, maybe, maybe it's game three, maybe it's game four, maybe it's I don't know when it's going to be, but uh, he's got a huge upside as well. Marvin Harrison Jr. is no stranger to Lucas Oil Stadium. His father, Marvin Harrison, a Hall of Fame wide receiver for the Colts. He's seen many games here, but because Ohio State hasn't beaten Michigan the last two years, he hasn't played here in the Big Ten championship game. You know, when I committed to Ohio State, you know the Big Ten Championships at Indy. And that's kind of the one goal that I've had, you know, my whole college career, and I haven't got there yet. So, um, you know, however many career, years left I have in college, I know this has to be, you know, one of the years that um, I get a chance to do that. Explosive plays certainly is what, you know, really was our Achilles heel going down in those last two games. And you now we know that. We've talked about it. Um, you know, how much do we talk about the rivalry game and, and, you know, winning at the end of the season? We talk about it every day. We do. Now, we're not going to sit there and let it beat us twice, but it is a motivating factor for sure. The Team of North game has always been the game. It's always been, like I was been preaching every day, it's, it's, it's the game we, we work for. You know, we, we still have to go through uh, play Indiana, and that's where it starts. But, you know, we, that's, that's the game that's on our minds. But, you know, we, we build from it, and, you know, right now we got to get ready for uh, Indiana. When you're playing in the Big Ten, I mean, you got to bring you got to bring your work pants and hard hat every single day, because uh, I mean, you're in for a dogfight no matter who it is. Uh, and opening up there will be a really good game, and uh, we're excited to play there, especially as a Big Ten opponent open up in the Big Ten. So Ohio State will open at Indiana as we're joined now by Tony Gerdman from BuckeyeHuddle.com. And Gerd, could we see Ohio State opening up against Michigan in the future? You know, that was kind of the surprise that came out of this session today with Ryan Day when. He, mentioned, he brought it up on his own, talking about Michigan, how maybe they might want to have discussions on moving the, the game from the last game of the season to somewhere else just because of the possibility moving forward of playing that game back-to-back -back weeks, which is something that he sure didn't seem all that enthused about. Yeah, the point he made was, are we going to minimize the, the game by playing one week later and maybe even playing three times in a row with the expanded playoffs? Yeah, and I thought he explained it well because – Wanting to change anything about the rivalry is going to cause all kinds of issues. But he said it was so that you change, you move the game further back or further move it up so that it maintains the meaning and it stays as important as it has been forever. Because if both teams go in at, say, 11-0 or they both have already clinched their Big Ten championship game berth, his concern is that it doesn't mean as much because it doesn't matter whether you win or lose because you're still going to be playing against each other the next week. So it's his thought is if you move it earlier in the season, the, the, the importance stays. It stays as important as ever. However, what about the years where they don't meet in the Big Ten championship game? How does, you know, what have you done to, to harm that rivalry now by moving it? 
For the second straight year, Ohio State's answering questions about how they regroup after losing to Michigan. It, it seems like we heard a lot of these same answers 365 days ago. <laughs> yeah, um, well, you know, when uh, that's the lasting impression of the season, and this is the first time a lot of other people are, are here to talk to you about it from around the nation, around the rest of the conference, you're going to be revisiting those questions. And the team may have moved on, the coaches may have moved on, but it kind of just gets, you know, refreshed here. And so, yeah, you're going to have to answer those questions. And he's talked about they've used it as motivation. They've used the, the they've kept the mentality that they took into the Georgia game about, you know, how he even said it against Michigan. They didn't handle the problems, the, the uh, bad turns in the second half well. And so they went into Michigan just swinging away, not worrying about any kind of mistakes. And they've carried that forward through the off season. And really, if they can take that mentality through the 2023 season, I think that's how they should play with that kind of mentality. All right, thank you very much. A lot more on Ohio State from Tony and his cohorts at BuckeyeHuddle.com. More of this conversation can be found on BCSNNation.com as well. Hey, don't forget, Toledo Rockets open the season at Illinois, and Fighting Illini head coach Brett Bielema has a simple way of referring to the Rockets. We actually don't refer to them as Toledo. We just call them back champs because um, that should sum up what they need to know, right? Um, I shouldn't have to teach our guys about them. I think they see it on film. Film is the greatest indicator of what you are, uh, and they're, they're an incredibly talented football team. Now coming up Thursday, the two-time defending Big Ten champion Michigan Wolverines will be in the spotlight. Scheduled to hear from Jim Harbaugh, Blake Corm, and company. In Indy, Mark Kuntz, BCSN.